Hi guys, uh, this is the second lesson. Uh, in this lesson, we will, we will create a Hello World project using uh, Composer. We will create a Laravel project. Uh, if you haven't set up the Composer, you can check my first lesson and set up the Composer and come back again. So let's start by creating the Hello World project. Uh, for this, actually, we will go to Laravel website, uh, Laravel official website. Uh, this is laravel.com. You can go to installation. Uh, from installation, you can go to installation by Composer. Uh, let's copy this command and run it in the terminal and let's name our app blog it will take few seconds to download all the dependencies cool uh, once the dependencies are installed let's go ahead and open this project in PHP storm Uh, let's open a file to see if the fonts uh, we can see in the in the video or not okay uh, it seems fonts are pretty good uh, okay let's go ahead and try to understand the directory structure this is the first thing so uh, this is the app folder app is app folder is where uh, most of your code design your controllers your models your provider you will get to know this um, in uh, in coming videos don't worry about that what are these for now and then this is the bootstrap folder this is this is uh, only app.php and cache.php we will get to know that uh, this config folder actually contains all the configurations for all your services and then that this is the database, for, database folder which contain factories migration and seeders and then there is a public folder public folder is uh, what is visible to the public actually the index file is what is rendered uh, as your application file and then there is the resources folder. This folder contain all the views of your application, your CSS, your JS, your language files. And then there is a route folder which contain all the routes of your application. Um, this is the story folder. Story folder actually you can use to store uh, or process any, any file like Excel file or images you want to process. And then there is the test directory which uh, is used to put all the rest. And then this is the vendor folder which contain all the dependencies of the application, a Laravel application. Uh, let's go ahead and check composer.json. Uh, this is the JSON file. Uh, this contain all the dependencies of your application. Uh, so the name is Laravel. And these are the required dependencies and these are only required for development purposes. So dependency required PHP 7.3 to 8.0, uh, both will work. And then we are using a Laravel framework and then most of these dependencies are um, mostly for testing and uh, that's it uh, there's nothing interesting in that we'll get to know other elements in our future videos don't worry about that so yeah let's go ahead and check uh, how this application look like in browser for that we will run uh, a PHP uh, server so to do that we'll go to our blog folder and run this command Okay, so to understand this command, we are asking PHP to run a server on localhost one, port number 1234 and we will serve that content of the public directory. So as we have already discussed, uh, public directory is the directory from which the, your application is served. So let's press enter and let's copy this and let's go to the browser. Ah, cool. So if you go to the browser, this page is uh, rendered. So let's check from where this page is coming. Let's go to the PHP storm. Let's go to the route folder. Let's go to the web folder. Web folder is, uh, is web file. Web.php is the file which contain all your web route. So here there is only one uh, route mapping. Uh, so this is telling like if the index route or the default route or the home route is there, you just simply render the welcome view. So let's go ahead and check the welcome view. So views all the views are inside resource folder in the resource views folder uh, this is uh, uh, the folder from where the views are served so let's go ahead and open the welcome view uh, actually let's remove this code and let's put our hello world here let's see if this works let's refresh the browser ah cool so it worked um, so yeah this is the uh, this is the uh, we to uh, interact with your routes and views. Let's go ahead and add another route. This time we'll make this route, route that get hello world. 
and this route will render the hello world view let's add another another view here let's add some code here hello world let's see if this works or not uh, let's refresh the page and let's navigate to hello world ah cool this works as well so in this lesson you uh, we we'll try to explain, uh, try to understand what is the directory structure, what are what are the routes, how to add your routes, how to add your views, where are your views served from, and uh, how to run the PHP server. And uh, that's pretty much it for this lesson. Uh, see you in the next video. Bye bye. Cheers.